Hi, I am Ajay from Global Customer Support Team Informatica. Now I am going to explain how to perform bulk updates to business terms in Informatica 9.6 through Unleash tool. Agenda would be briefing on business term and its life cycle followed by demo on how to perform updates to business terms. Business term in data quality is one of a business glossary asset which is nothing but a word or a phrase that defines the concepts of uh, for business users within an organization. These business terms are created by data stewards and reviewed by stakeholders and would finally publish the terms upon approval from the stakeholders. Let's take a look at the life cycle of the business term. Each stage of this life cycle is represented by a phase as in whenever a bus business term is created the term is phased as draft and upon submitting the term for review it is seen in in review phase and if the reviewer approves the term it gets published otherwise it it would be re rejected. Since this talk is about updating the terms, let's see the demo of updating terms and how it differs at each phase of the life cycle. First, let's see the process to update a business term. I have created a glossary by name organization and that has few business terms defined. Updates to business terms that are in draft or in review phase is same. Let's see. So the term with name department it is in in review phase and in order to update this term we need to open the term. Once the term is open you can see a edit option on the top right of the page and click on that. So you can update the fields, say the description updated and then save. The edit is complete, go back to library to see the updates. And now you can see the description updated. Similarly, the terms that are in draft phase, the same process applies for updating the terms. But for the published terms, the updates cannot be done directly on the term. But you have to create a revision of the existing term. Creating a revision would create a new term with the same name as that of the published term and keeps it in the draft phase. Let's see it. The finance term is already published and if you open this you won't see a edit option like we have seen earlier. So there is no edit option but we have option to create revision and click on this. So any updates to the published term has to be done on the revisioned version which is nothing but uh, the term in draft phase. Let's see the library. Now you can see the finance term one is in draft phase another is in the published term. The draft term is the one that is created when we when we do a, a create revision. So any updates that need to be done to the published version has to be performed on the draft version. So let me update the description.
restoration. So now you can see the draft version got updated with the updates. So this has to be again published to update the changes back into the published version. So I'm publishing the draft version. Now we can see the updates are applied to the published version and the timestamp will get updated to the latest timestamp. This works well if the updates to the terms, published terms are minimal uh, and there are very few published terms to be updated. But think of a scenario where the business has thousands of terms defined and uh, certain update need to be done for most of the terms. In such scenario, it is non-trivial task for the steward to open each term from the analyst tool and update the contents. To ease the task of updating multiple terms, we can make use of export import feature of the glossary. Let's see how to do bulk updates to business terms using export import method. Let's export this glossary by right click on the glossary, export. So this, this will create an export file which is a XLS format. Now any updates that need to be done to the terms has to be updated in the Excel. Let me open the Excel. This is the export file of the glossary and now go to terms sheet and assume that I want to make uh, updates uh, to the terms which, uh, which has a description tech and I want to change it to technical. In this process, whenever a term is updated, make sure the face of the term is modified to draft after update. Now I have modified the terms support and technical and saved the updates. Changing the phase in the Excel sheet from published to draft will create the revision copy of the business term. If the phase is not modified to draft, uh, the revision copy of the term is not generated and thereby no updates uh, uh, to the term happens. Now import the modified Excel into the same glossary
and during the import process choose the replace glossary asset option and then save once the import is successful you will see the message now you can see the draft version for support and for research is created and in order to update these changes back to the published version we have to follow the same process of publishing these draft terms and they get updated in the published term now we can see the descriptions of these terms got updated this way the bulk updates to the terms can be easily applied you can also get the bulk update process details from KB204855 Thank you for info for visiting Informatica support community on YouTube and for any feedback please write to us at supportvideos at informatica.com or tweet us at twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you.